Hello, and welcome to Free Spirit Media News on the Road. I'm Melanie Johnson. And I'm not Sterling Hill, but I'm Marquise Brown, and I'll be filling in for Sterling on this show. FSM News is on, out and about this summer, and we'll be broadcasting live to you from various locations. That's right. We're live at Northwestern Medill School of Journalism. School days are right around the corner, so don't move. You wouldn't want to miss this. FSM News on the road. Just like us, we know there are many other aspiring journalists out there. And we wanted to keep you motivated and let you know that your dreams are within your reach. We thought that we'd give you some tips from some really good sources, Medill Journalism Professors. Since 1921, Medill has been recognized worldwide for the nation's top journalism school. Our FSM reporter talked to some of Medill's instructors on what it takes to be a good journalist. Here's Shamisia Davis with more. I'm here in the classroom at Medill School of Journalism, and there's a lot of experts in the building. Here's some advice from some instructors. Many professors would say becoming a journalist requires a lot of knowledge and determination when working in such a big field. But aspiring journalists should also know that being passionate about what you do makes life as a journalist second nature. For a person who's curious to learn new things, meet new people, understand things, being a journalist is like candy. They pay me to do what I love. One of the main skills required to become a journalist is learning how to be a people's person. Without it, the chances of being successful in journalism is less than fortunate. Learning how to talk to people. It's the simplest thing, but it's also the hardest. And once you get comfortable doing that, everything will fall after that. Being able to be competitive is another very important skill you must have. It's not something that can be taught. It has to come from within you. Find stories, tell stories. The more you do it, the better you'll get. Many upcoming journalists know that being curious, watching the news, taking notes, and being a good listener are also very helpful tips when trying to get ahead in the busy industry. As you can see, being a journalist takes a lot of hard work. But if you have a passion for it, you will succeed. Back to you. Thanks, Shamisia, for that great story. We'll take a short break, but when we come back, we'll tell you how to prepare for the school season. Don't go anywhere. FSM News on the road. We'll be right back. Well, it's almost that time again. Really? It's only 1.20. No, silly. I mean, it's almost that time to go back to school. Are you ready? Here's FSM Janelle Coleman on some tips and getting ready, if not. School is right around the corner for high school and college students. To become better prepared, I have some back-to-school tips for you today. Take a look. Paul, a recent graduate from Northwestern, can be considered an expert when it comes to getting ready for college. I uh, packed all of my belongings, make sure I had everything I needed, you know, pens, books, supplies. Some college students say they have created good study habits over the summer. For you high school students, being prepared for school is very important. Cheers here at Northwestern that will be returning back to high school have various ways they try to be prepared look at what classes they're taking next year and like, ask other people what they had to do for that class just so they know what, they, what to expect when they get in there. If you're interested in taking a journalism course while you're in school, a CHIRP has a few things you should bring to class on your first day. If you're taking a journalism class, you probably want a voice recorder and a pen. The right supplies are not the only thing you will need to be prepared for a great school year. You have to have a positive mindset and always put effort into what you do. Be the best you can be. No matter what you're going through, you have to live life to the fullest. Being excited and, um, like I said, optimistic that you will be able to work hard. These are some very important tips that I plan to use myself. 
While in school, do your best in taking all the educational information that's given and make your high school and college years memorable. For FSM News, I am Janelle Coleman. Back to you, Marquise and Melanie. Thanks, Janelle. We'll keep those tips in mind. When we come back, we'll hear from one of FSM News reporters who was able to get a taste of the college life this summer. We're talking about the Medill Chair Program for high school juniors. Stay tuned. There's more coming up in Teen Talk. Don't leave us. We'll be right back. The chair program at Northwestern recruits some of the best high school journalists around the world. One of our former FSM newscast members is experiencing what the chair program has to offer. In this week's Teen Talk, Sierra Newman and Raven White will be sitting down with former FSM news reporter Shakiva Ransom to hear about her experience so far. Hi, I'm Sierra Newman. And I'm Raven White, and welcome to Teen Talk. Did you know, since 1921, the Medill program has been recognized worldwide as a jewel. At Medill, high school students who are preparing to enter their senior year are being shaped for their future careers in journalism. Today, we are here live at Northwestern with our FSM's very own Shakiva Ransom to get her perspective on her experience as a cherub. Life as a cherub is different for me. I'm actually outside of my learning environment. My comfort zone is different in many ways. I meet a lot of different people who aren't the same color as me, race or uh, religion as me. So it's different. It's really different. I miss the Gary Coleman Youth Center, but um, this is an international program and people from all walks of life know about this program. And I think it's more, um, more opportunities for me by coming here. I think it'll help me in a million different ways and I can't wait to see what my future is like. What advice would I give future cherubs to accept different? Accept the different um, things that this program has to offer, whether you like it or not, it still will help you in the future. Well, to me it sounds like Shakiva is having lots of fun. Yes, it surely does. Well, even with the Medill program being life changing for some of the cherubs there, it's a great way to open up the students' eyes for real world journalism. Reporting for FSM News, I'm Raven White. And I'm Sierra Newman. Back to you, Marquise and Melanie. Since Sterling isn't here, I guess I can close the show properly this time. Like all good things. Wait, Melanie. I was the star of the show long before you came about. Marquise, it's not your turn anymore, so step back, please. You know what, Melanie? Forget it. Let's just end the show because everyone knows who the star is, and it is me. Yeah, anyway, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you check out Free Spirit Media's Facebook page. Thanks for tuning in. See ya. Peace. Stacy Embry here with FSM2. I'm here with Sierra Newman of the Team Talk Group. How was your experience at Northwestern yesterday? Um, my experience at Northwestern was fun. It was different. And then I got to get up close with one of the chair of that was one I very own, Shakiva Ransom. And I got to learn about her experience as a chair of um, at Northwestern and like just basically just get to understand what it's like to be there and the advantage you get to be a part of by yourself. Okay, I see you have a package open. Like, what are you working on? I'm actually working on my package from yesterday. I had to um, ask Shakiva with, like, questions about life on campus and what it's like to um, be a part of something different and new. Free Spirit Media partners with schools and organizations to provide education, access, and opportunity in media production to underserved urban youth. Through hands-on production of their own media content, participants build life skills in communication, critical and independent thinking, teamwork, and the use of technology. Believing that youth perspectives are a critical element of American culture, Free Spirit Media actively distributes student work to a range of audiences. Participants' dreams and aspirations grow, and in turn, their voices and visions benefit our society.
Did you know, since 1921, the Medill program has been recognized worldwide and is known as a jewel. At Medill, see, shoot. To be ready for high school and co- Is it going too slow? You're walking slow. Better per- Come on, man. Talking about the Medill Sherrill program. We're talking about the Medill Sherrill program. Cherub, dang. Cherub program for high school juniors. 